What up dudes? Another day. <laughs> As you can see, it is now night time. Not a productive day. Didn't get any sunlight today. Not because the sun didn't come out, it's because I didn't go out. As a result, I'm now really frustrated with myself. I didn't have time for an adventure today, basically. I really just have to go inside and finish working on this main channel video. That needs to be my focus, and it's really hard to balance a daily vlog and a main channel at the same time. If anyone's ever done it, I don't know how they do it. How do you make two videos in a day? What's up, little guy? Hello. It is actually warm today. It's about 60 degrees, which is ideal. I wanted to show you this funny tree. <laughs> Here's one of the funny trees. It just looks funny. But this is what I actually wanted to show you. So this tree here has only got half the leaves on it. It's like a winter tree and then a summer tree. I don't really understand. Same thing's kind of happening here. Like you've got a few and then nothing going on on the rest of it. I don't really understand. But then it's also happening here. So like you got half a tree, and then the other half is winter. I'm very confused. So I actually, I've been walking around for a few hours. I've actually had a, I have a topic for today, but I don't want to do it here because it's very loud. There's just too many cars around me. So I'm going to find a quiet place in the park and then discuss something. <laughs> quite reach somewhere quiet yet. Yeah, I've got somewhere in mind, it's just this park's really long, so I have to walk quite far to get to places. When you walk through it, it you go through so many different sections of trees. They've planted all sorts of things here. So I just spent an hour trying to find somewhere quiet to sit and film. But then I realized that I'm in the biggest park in the city on a Saturday. So there's just thousands of people and loads of cars all the time. So hopefully it's not too loud and distracting. I need a lapel mic, really, so then I can film incognito. What I wanted to, dis to discuss was a lot of people leave comments saying that I seem so free. But it's just an illusion. It's not an illusion I'm trying to project. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, trying to live free, I'm trying to feel free. But it's all an illusion. I'm, I'm, I'm a wage slave like everyone else. I think true freedom comes from being financially secure. Once you've, once you've conquered that, then the rest will follow. But until you've conquered financial freedom, you're never going to feel free, or me personally. It's like the ticket to life. If you, have, if you have that, if you have money, then you can do anything. You can go anywhere, you can be any person. Without it, you've always got it looming at the back of your mind that you need to chase it, you need this thing. For living paycheck to paycheck, you know that if you don't work as hard as you can, by the end of the month, you're homeless. That's such a scary thought. Or you can't eat. Like, that's that's another thing. Is how can you be free if you can't even afford to eat? I think because I, I have the willpower and I don't really fear anything, I'm able to get out of my comfort zone and do stuff like move country. Do things that other people are afraid of doing. I think that's why some people think I am free. It's all, all an illusion, everything's an illusion. That doesn't mean that I'm not always pursuing pursuing freedom. Some people think that you have to live in a society free from money and law to be free. Living under law means you're never free because there's certain things you can't do. But I think 
having lore is necessary. Not so many that we have, but a certain ones like don't rape, kill, or steal. Those three should be the laws. Laws of land. Everything else is kind of just restrictions. But I think you can be free and live in a society. You can live in a city surrounded by people and still be free. But I think the number one thing is just financial freedom. Once you've conquered that, once you start earning enough that you don't have to think about it, I think that's where freedom comes. Because then you, you can just unlock your mind and move past the the looming thoughts of income. It's going to take me a while to get used to having people stare at me when I vlog. Because there's just hundreds of people around. It's kind of nice that I don't speak Spanish yet, because then, well, not so many people are going to know what I'm talking about. It'd be fun to vlog in Welsh all the time. But then you guys are going to understand what I'm saying. Yeah, I picked a bad spot to sit because the sun has now gone behind a building. Right, so then there's the question of what do you want to be free from? So obviously financial freedom helps just kind of stabilize the mind so you don't have that to worry about. But there's other things. Wearing my hair the way I do, dressing the way I do, not wearing shoes in public. These are all things that have taken time to become. I didn't just start doing it. It'd be free from judgment, free from caring what others have to say about you and the way you look. There's, well, eight billion of us as humans. We're all different. A lot of people look the same, but we're all different. So you have to not care what any of those people think about you. As a single individual, we have to stop caring about that because that's a big worry. That's what brings a lot of people down and stops a lot of people from doing what they want to actually do, becoming who they want to become. No one really cares about what you're doing. People might say they care, but like, no one really cares. Everyone just is caring about themselves. Everyone's worrying about themselves, what I should say. Not caring. Whatever you want to do, go do it. Because holding yourself back just means that you're never going to become the person you want to become. I still don't think I've reached the person I'm supposed to become. I still think I've got a way to go, but I'm getting there. So I think I'm free in the sense that I don't have to worry about other people. Like I said earlier, it's difficult getting used to being watched while you vlog. That's something I'm not really comfortable with yet. But uh, I don't care what they think. It's just I'm distracted. I should, like, there's so much stimulation from my eyes that I'm just darting around all over the place. Like, it's hard to focus on just talking to you. I suppose there's, there's also free from freedom from pain and suffering. You can avoid pain and suffering by taking care of your health. When you're healthy, there's nothing to worry about because you know your body's not just going to give up on you. It's not just going to fail. Obviously, if you've got an underlying health issue like, like diabetes or something, I suppose that is difficult. I don't know how to deal with that. But if you don't have anything going on in your, in your life, then be healthy. What, like, what do you lose by becoming healthy? <laughs> I'm not the healthiest person, but I'm working on it all the time. You have nothing to lose, but everything to gain. You become free from illness. That's why I don't have any fear of this thing that's going around. It's because I've worried about my health for years. I looked after myself, I should say. And as a result, I have no fear of catching anything because I generally don't. Maybe if I'm making out with someone that has a cold, I'll catch the cold because you're just exchanging saliva. But other than that, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna catch anything that's going around. So I don't worry about it. I had some comments on my videos that when I left the UK saying that I'm a bad person for leaving the UK because I could be spreading the virus. Well, thing is, I feel myself taking the test. I tested negative. People were saying that I did the test wrong. And how can you really do it wrong? I, I, I scrubbed my tonsils and I scrubbed my brain via my nose. So how, how did I do it wrong? I did the same that everybody else does it. But yeah, whenever I bring up those comments to other people, they're just saying that other people are just jealous. Jealous that I actually had the balls to go and do what I did. The only thing I don't really feel free from completely is freedom of speech. I feel like I still can't say a lot of things, especially on YouTube but most apps are the same. They have the same set of rules. Like you can't say certain topics on any of the apps at the moment because they all just silence you. Say as much as I can, as much as I feel comfortable with. I say as much as I can within the guidelines of YouTube. Maybe I should start an OnlyFans and just do like all my drug content there. I have a ton of main channel videos I want to film. I'm just waiting until I have my own place to kind of set up a nice little backdrop and studio space for myself. Be, I need to be in a comfortable work environment so I can actually like make everything I want to make. At the moment, I still feel like I'm backpacking, and I know that in two weeks I'm going to have to move again. Uh, something I was worrying about was the crystals. Crystals, the order wouldn't go through. It took a week and a half, but the order finally went through, and now they are on the way. So I've got a bunch of tiger eye, some red jasper, and some malachite on the way. 
So I'm going to be drilling holes in those and turning them into necklaces for the store. That was that was another worry, it's because like I invested a bunch of money into this and then nothing happened. And everything else has arrived. Uh, but the crystals haven't, and the crystals are the main, the main thing, the product. So yeah, I don't really know what this video is. I just wanted to talk about the fact that people think I'm free. <laughs> it might seem free, but it's all an illusion, I promise. I do feel free a lot of the time though. No one's really telling me what I can and can't do. One thing about being here in Spain is that I am restricted slightly. You have to wear a mask at all times outside. And now a lot of people don't wear them in the park, especially runners or bikers and stuff. But it is the rules you're supposed to wear them in the park. And police do patrol the park, so it's annoying. You always have to think about that out here. And apparently they've been doing it since June, like for ages. It doesn't really make any sense. So if you see me wear wearing this cloth that doesn't do anything, then uh, that's why. A lady in the grocery store yesterday had a go at me because she's saying my mask wasn't adequate enough. She was saying it all in, all in Spanish, so I just kind of stared at her blankly. I feel I feel bad that I can't speak the language yet, but I've only been here a couple of weeks. But give me time, guys. I will learn. I've been a foreigner my whole life. I moved to Wales when I was five, and they put me in a Welsh-speaking school, so I couldn't interact with anyone for a few months until they took me out of that school, put me in another one where I learnt Welsh. So I've always been a foreigner. People treat pre, people treat you different until you can speak the language. So living in Germany, couldn't speak that language. Now I'm living in Spain, can't speak this language. But I will learn. I'm a fast learner when I put all my effort into it. Right now I'm not putting my effort into it. I'm putting all my effort into fractals and YouTube at the moment because I need to make sure I have a stable income before I start doing anything else. You guys will see I'll be a lot more relaxed when I stop moving around. And I, I, I have a place, I have a home. That's when you'll, you'll see like all the stress just leave my body. Freedom. All right, I'm gonna go home. I tried to go in the grocery store. And I got kicked out immediately because my mask is not a mask. The rules are different here. It's not it's not just wear a face covering like in the UK. They wanted to wear one of the actual mask masks. But so far I've never had to buy one. And I kinda refuse to buy one, but uh I won't be able to eat until I conform. So so I'm gonna have to find something. I'm gonna have to find a better solution because they just really don't like my my face covering. <laughs> it's alright, I didn't need to eat anyway. Oh, a trick I did last night to get to bed earlier was I just left my phone in this room. That's the trick. Just don't bring your phone into the bedroom. I fell asleep straight away. So yeah, I'm gonna do that again tonight and wake up early and go to the beach. But I'm gonna swim. That's my goal. Cause it's gonna be 69 degrees tomorrow. 69. <laughs> it's the hottest day that I've experienced here in Spain. Hey, if you wanna leave me any fun phrases that I should know in Spanish, if you know Spanish, leave them down below. But leave the translation as well so I know what it means. And don't mess with me either. Don't like put something that is something different and then say it different. Like, like don't say something rude and then say, I am a baguette in English because I'll know you're messing with me. Alright, see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>